All right, we are live, guys. I I apologize, man. Today has been getting behind me, so I'm late to the vibe check today, guys. But we're still gonna vibe out. Everything's are everything's gonna be okay. But I am here, guys. I was supposed to go live today at 10 a.m. I end up getting caught up doing some paperwork, so. But I'm here, nonetheless, guys. I'm go ahead and get this seat together too. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Once again, guys, I am sorry that I have made it. I was late to the vibe check, but what they say, better late than never. Vaughn, what is up, bro? I hope all is well, man. And you close out some of these browsers, too. It's got my internet moving slow. All right, all right, all right, all right. Guys, I <laughs> speaking of which, Vaughn, I tried out that. Um, a new guilty Gucci, Gucci yeah, yeah. that new Gucci guilty elixir. Don't do it, guys. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Kaylin, what is up? Kaylin in the building. I apologize for my tardiness, guys. But 12 o'clock may actually work for a lot of you guys, to be honest with you. 12 o'clock may actually be a better time because it gives everybody time to wake up, gives everybody time to go ahead and get on live, and also for my West Coast people. You know, guys can join too. So, but yeah, Gucci guilty guys do not fall into the hype. Personally, I'm going to tell you this: the first time I smelled it, it immediately reminded me of Luna Rosa Ocean EDP. It reminds me of the Luna Rosa Luna Rosa Ocean EDP. If I want that vibe, I'm going to literally. And you guys know I'm gonna be honest all the way, one million percent. I'm going to be honest, even what I don't want to be for one hundred and eighty dollars, guys, go ahead and get you the Luna Rosa Ocean EDP, man. It's it makes no sense. Gucci is uh, that's a cash grab. That is a cash grab. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, Kaylin. How <laughs> what signs is it giving you that's going bad? Does it smell crazy? Is it discolored? Can you see through the bottle? What's going on? Is it watery? But yeah, no, I have. And the crazy thing is they weren't even selling like I'm talking about the Gucci Guilty Elixir for anybody that's catching up. But even when I went to the um, to the kiosk, they only had one bottle in and it was dang near gone. So people have been asking about, you know, trying it out. So it's really on a hype train right now. People are going in trying to try it out. Or maybe that's one of the first things that the um, that the people are at the counter are giving to people who are like to sample out. But. It's not worth it, especially for the price tag, guys. I'm just telling you straight out, don't do it. Yeah, and, and you're seeing that a lot, too. You're seeing that if something is super popular along, like, it seems like everybody comes out with the same thing around the same time. So, yeah. but Okay, it smells on this color. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kaylin. That sucks. Sorry, guys. I'm moving my desk around here. But yeah, that's definitely a cash grab, guys. Gucci Guilty Elixir. I'm going to give it two thumbs down just because it is super similar to that um, to that Luna Rosa Ocean EDP. And I think it's the benzoin and the vanilla that's doing it on there. But definitely, it's not worth it. Am I still on live? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, guys, my live isn't going in and out. I don't know what's wrong with my internet. I might need to actually exit out some of these tabs here. So, and mind you guys, I was working earlier. So, hence of why I'm super late. It's getting some paperwork done, getting some deals done. Yeah, that's that's trash. Um, to be honest, I think indie is probably the way. It's so many different houses, niche houses too, indie houses and niche houses that have like some fire going on right now. And it's a lot of houses that we haven't even really explored into. Well, I know me personally, I haven't explored into. I'm still in the journey to the point where everything is almost dang near new. So it's so many places I need to go. Oh, how was that? How was that, Vaughn? Vaughn said he just grabbed a niche and a suede and saffron.
Omega, what's up, family? How you feeling, man? If anybody catching up, I was just talking about Gucci Guilty Elixir. But also, guys, let's talk about what's popping off for the fall, man. What are what are your top five fall fragrances that you guys will rock? Like designer. Let's go designer. Let's put it. I'm going to do it like this scenario. I want to do a video on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say like, hey, say that if you are in a situation of where you may be starting your fragrance journey and say that I am clueless to niche, I'm clueless to indie, and I just want to go to the mall and pick out something. What is your top five that you guys are going to rock with? Me personally, I was thinking about this and I'm going to say, uh, I should have wrote this down because this is all freestyle at the top of my mind. I'm going to say Spice Bomb Infrared, the EDP. I'm going to say um, Paco Rabanne with a million elixir. Number three, I'm going to say YSLY Live. Um, number four, I'm going to say Dior Sauvage Elixir. And guys, number five, I'm going all designer, all designer. And number five, I'm going to say um, Tom Ford. Um, I'm going to say Tom Ford. Yeah, that Noir Extreme. I'm going to go Noir Extreme. So those would be top my my five. Mind you, I know there's other more. I, I haven't put my nose on that uh, JPG, that John Paul Gautier um, elixir yet, but I'm hearing really, really, really good things. So my list might change up, but if you guys are looking for five suggestions, and actually a hard mention, guys, is going to be this um, Azaro, the most wanted EDP. I would really like that one too for the fall. Matter of fact, I think that's that should automatically be on top five. Okay, so what's up? What's up? What did I miss here? I just got Black Vines by Kerosene, and I'm shook. Why are you shook, Kaylin? Tuscan leather, but smoother. Okay, okay, okay. I kind of like the raspberry note in that, though. That's so great after the giant. Oh, man. Yeah, Omega, y'all y'all dealing. Y'all going through a lot. <laughs> the giants are going through a lot, man. I'm sorry. Y'all got the Lions effect going on right now. The old school Lions effect. It's all good. Hang in there, man. Yeah, that was a bad loss to San Fran the other night. Well, last night. All right. So, boom. Straight up from Vine. Gentleman, boys. Boy, see. Uh, Spice Bomb, Ombre Leather, DR Home Intense. Very nice one. And Luna Rosa Black. Very nice one again. Solid list. Okay, so Kaylin says Libra Intense, JPG, La Belle Perfume. So you know those spicy gum drops that come around Christmas time and the black ones. <laughs> this is exactly what Black Vine. <laughs> uh, man, it, it's, it's inevitable. It's freaking inevitable around the fall season, uh, winter season when those drop for sure. It's inevitable. You guys know it's coming. <laughs> uh, Kaylin always had his chat rocking, man. But yeah, so if anybody is watching this playback, so hopefully you guys are getting some gems. You know, I really want to involve you guys on this one, but that is my top five. Well, technically top six fall fragrances I would really rock with. You know, if you guys were just walking in the mall, and you guys are going to like a Macy's or if you guys are going, I think Macy's, at least in Michigan, I think Macy's is probably, well, no, of course you got your um, certain Neiman Marcuses that still sell and also Alta. But say if you're going to one of those big box stores and you just want to grab something real quick, that is my, you know, actually, I got another one, man. I think by the fireplace by, um, well, I can't think of the name. But by the fireplace, you guys know who I'm talking about. By Mason Francis. No, not Mason Francis. What the heck? What am I thinking about here, guys? But by the freaking fireplace. And I'm going to get you the name. I don't know why. Sometimes things start running into each other. Yeah, I'm sorry. By Replica. Mason Margella. I had Mason right. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, Uncle Sam, what's up, man? How you feeling, brother? 
Thank you for coming inside of the chat. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Designer for DHP, DHI, Thierry Mercury Pure, YSL and Wheat, La Home, um, Paco Rabanne with Million Privé, and Blue Day Chanel. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, buy that fireplace, man. If you guys have not tried it out by Mason Margiela, that is fire. You you can't go wrong with that one. You could typically find that one in Sephora, if I'm not mistaken. If you guys are in Michigan, it is the Sephora at the 12 Oaks Mall. But you can typically find them around there. Burberry Brit, too. Yeah, Kaylin. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Honestly, Burberry Brit. And one of my favorites used to be Burberry Touch. That Burberry Touch is freaking fall. I mean, freaking fire, excuse me. Yeah, I think uh, with that ambery, spicy type tone, that woody tone, that um, 40 knots to be perfect to rock for the fall. I think you're perfectly fine. Or I think during the summertime, you would really have to probably wait on a cooler night on that one. But I absolutely, fall time for that one is nice. You can't lose with the 40 knots then. DJ Cole with the Zaro the Most Wanted, Michael Mahal, Jack Black Enigma, Savage Elixir. Yes, sir. That Savage Elixir is nice. Amarov CD. I see. I'm talking about in stores, though. I'm talking about in stores. What would you grab? I, I don't think that uh, Amarav you could grab. The Versace Dylan Blue. Okay. Okay. All right. Yo, guys, speaking. Okay, so Omega, he has a few um, different blind buys right now. Impulse buy, excuse me. Okay, nice. Okay. Yo, speaking of Creed right now, guys, are, are y'all seeing that Creed is, um the, the bottles are popping up, but the new absolute events is. They're saying, quote, unquote, from what I'm hearing right now, from what I'm researching, a lot of people are saying that it reminds them of Savage Elixir. And that's not a good thing, guys. Not not for all of the hype that it's getting. But that's just what I'm reading. They said Creed Aventus Absolute smells like Savage Elixir. Now, I just don't know why they didn't name it something else either, though. But, guys, like we were talking about before. Yeah, Uncle Sam, that's, na that's nasty work, bro. But... I think what it is too, man, and now um, with Creed really being in these like flanker stores and stuff now, like, you know, you guys know that Creed um, is in Macy's and stuff now too, right? So I don't know if it's one of those things where they feel like that they have to compete with like these like, you know what I'm saying? Like designer fragrances that are in stores, but I don't know. I, I ain't feeling it. <laughs> I'm not feeling what I'm hearing, but of course we're going to get our nose on it and, you know, create our own perception of it. You know, I try not to watch reviews, but if I see some rumblings, I'll try to find out what's what. You know what? I'm interested. I'm interested. So Kali has a brand new lineup. My wife was just telling me about it. She's telling me that K.I.L.E. has a brand new situation with the ooze going on. Um, only thing with the K.I.L.E. line is I don't like how they, as crazy as it like I'm complaining this whole lot, but I'm not, guys. I'm just being honest. I don't like the longevity of K.I.L.E. I agree. I agree. Vaughn says that uh, they shouldn't try to compete with designers. They already have a core base. Exactly. They have a core base. They honestly, they, they held the crown for so long. And now, you know, you feel that you have to switch up things. No, nah, just keep things as, as it was going. But, of course, we're starting to see now with under new leadership, new things are starting to happen. And I'm not feeling it. Especially, they said it was like $500 for that, man. Are y'all tripping? Creed is tripping, man. I'm not paying no $500 and it smells like Savage Elixir. I don't care how, how good the hype train is. We're not doing that. <laughs> Ah, uh, Kaylin. <laughs> uh, oh, so yo, Omega. So you telling me that uh out there is on Franker's that's it hit the discounters now? Ooh, we I didn't know it hit the discounters already. That's crazy. So all right. 
Uh, we have we have a PDM out there. It's now starting to hit discounters. That's crazy. That's quick too. That's actually pretty dang on quick. Oh, Uncle Sam, you know that was gonna go out quick. That's crazy. Whew. Yeah, I guess they wasn't wasting no time because I thought it was supposed to be under contract with um with uh Neiman's for a while. You know, I think I thought they had a normally they try to have like a gap before it goes to discounter. So I don't know if that was a one off or if that was something that you know that they're trying different. But that's crazy. But that's beautiful though. That's beautiful because you know we like steals and deals first and foremost. You know, you guys make me want to look at it, too, to see if there's any other places. Let me see. Oh, people doing a hustle on Mercury right now. If you guys are looking for samples, doing the travel size. Uh, let me see if I can find a full bottle anywhere. Yeah, that's wild, though, man. All right, so, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Compare prices. Still looking, guys. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure everywhere that was on there is probably sold out. Oh, yeah, man, that uh, out there is nice, to be honest with you. I'm not even going to hold you. That out there is nice. It's just... um. You really get that spiciness at the opening. That spiciness is like super in your face. But guys, it really comes off as that like beautiful cinnamon gourmand. You can tell it's luxury. I mean, like it, it, it screams luxury to me and it screams quality. So I like it. Personally, I like it. I think it's something I would definitely, um, you know, I'm going to get it on a discount. So <laughs> I'm not going, I'm not buying anything retail, to be honest. Just because there's too many buys out here. It's put it this way, it'd be on my wish list. So it'll be on my wish list. And whenever I can grab it, I'll do it. But probably the only one I'll blind buy this year would be Torino 23. And that is by Zerjov. So I've already got the 21 and a 22. Yeah, 21 and 22. But I really want to complete it with the 23 and the 20. So, and that is normally I was doing some research, guys. I know we was talking about it last time. But um, that is typically around the Nito ATP, the tennis finals, is normally around like November. So we should probably see it around there. Yeah, I love the Torinos, man. But Killian wise, that try out that smoking hot. That smoking hot is really nice. It's a really, really nice blend. If you um if you're into tobaccos. And honestly, even if you like a really rich, fruity um, scent of a cigar, or as they would say, a hookah, you know, you could definitely, that'd be something you would want to buy about too. Oh, you definitely under the radar, Omega. Honestly, Killian, one of my favorite Killians too is still that Black Phantom. I still love that Black Phantom. Man, I was actually watching something from um, Mr. Cologne 76. And I was looking at this, right? So I was looking, if you guys are following, if are not following, you should definitely want to follow him. But um, he was doing Haltane. And mind you guys, they used to have a full bottle, but that got, I got rid of that in my declutter stage. But he was doing a layer in between these two. And I've been wondering, I never thought to put these two together, but now I'm interested. So what I'm saying is that Anisha Parfum's Paragon along with the Haltane. I wonder what that combination is like. Straight to Heaven is nice. Super nice. That Black Phantom is like, honestly, if you're not into um, a very, very dark scent, you're not going to like it. But it's very dark. It gives you a chocolatey, sweet, uh, slight spice type vibe. Actually, no, heavy on the spice type vibe. I haven't put my nose on it in a while. But that is Black Phantom in a nutshell. Apple brandy on the rocks. Yes, indeed it is. I know my cousin was telling me about, um, he just got his angel share, his other stuff. I mean, the original. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm about to try out this uh, combination. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. What's up, Key? All right, let me go ahead and see if I can explore myself first. I don't want to put it straight to Nowser, to the Schnauzer, excuse me. All right, let me try to. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> it's crazy because. Yeah, that's nice. It seems like you really get like this. You get the spice, of course. You get really, really heavy spice. And then that plum is trying to peek through. And ironically, I feel like you really kind of get like this slight leatheriness involved. This weird, like some um, some patchouli involved. And maybe I'm wrong, but this smells nice, man. This is really, really nice. Mm. Yeah, that's good, man. Man, that's really, really good. Yeah, if you guys have it, man, shout out to Mr. Cologne76, guys. He put me up on the, um, he just made a video, a post about that, where he did the Haltane and he also did the uh, Paragon. I know it's probably literally no patchouli in it, but that's the vibe it gives off, like this little leathery accord, but it's nice. Yeah, Ooh for Greatness. I love freaking Ooh for Greatness. That's one I would not get rid of my collection, but I am going to wait until it gets really cold for that one. I don't even want to try that one yet. And I think low-key Paragon and uh, Ooh for Greatness might be nice, too. That's a combination we got to try. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that smells good. That's addicting. I'm sorry, that threw me off, guys. <laughs> Remind me never to do a smell test on live again, because I get distracted and I start thinking. All right, guys, so what we were talking about beforehand, too, was... Um, let me go back up in the chat. So we were talking about Killian. Oh. Okay, so immediately that's one of the ones I got from Shoma Shop. This is... Oh, that sucks. You know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm like designer wise, I gave you guys my top five that I probably rock out. Um, but also another one, man, that people slept on. Um, what I'm going to personally rock out this fall is I really want to go with. Just on my everyday situation. Well, not even every day, but uh, I hate that top. But the Stronger With You Ooh by Emperor Armani. I felt like nobody really talks about this anymore, but this was a good release. This is a really good release, that leathery accord. This is really, really nice. That's going to be one I rock out. Of course, my Zaro, the most wanted parfum is one I'm going to be work, working out. Um, uh, of course, Ooh for Greatness. That's another one I'm going to be rocking out. Another one that's freaking beautiful. That doesn't get enough credit. It's also going to be the second soul. The second soul is freaking fire. And it's perfect for the fall season. So that's going to be another one I'm going to rock out with. And I think this would be another one. Why am I keep thinking about Initial Parfums Ooh for Greatness? I wonder how this mixture would be. But yeah, the second soul, man, I definitely want to rock out like on um, classy events and stuff like that. This is really nice. And of course, Nishine Ani, that's going to be another one I'm rocking out. Omega been what media? I've been wanting to get into the um, into the Argos. That old side of the movie is freaking fire. 
Aoud Vanille by Mar uh, Mancera is very nice. Yeah, Annie is a Annie a bad girl. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Yeah, guys. Nishane Ani, if you guys haven't put your nose on this one before, if you guys are new or doing this playback, make sure you guys put your nose on Ani. This is gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous. And reserve this for date nights. <laughs> reserve this for your date nights. This is super sexy. This is going to be one of the sexy fragrances when you're trying to, you know, seduce your significant other. Or you're trying to have, you know, like a um, a very, very intoxicating uh, Centro. This is certified GTD status. You know what? I really don't. Um, I really don't have any backup bottles, but I I wouldn't mind. I think most of them here. If I was really to run out of one that I would absolutely need a backup bottle of, would be that Noxos 1861. That's probably like one of my, that's got to be my favorite out of my collection. Oh, excuse me, guys. Yeah, please, Omega. I would definitely. I don't know if you were talking about me, but yeah, if you got some samples from Argos, man, I would definitely love some. Absolute. Oh, that's another one. Ka Calvin, what's up, man? Big thank you for coming inside of the chat. Grand Soir, guys, is another one. <laughs> Grand Soir, and I'm sure the chat is going to go crazy right now, but that Grand Soir by MFK. Oh, my goodness. If y'all haven't put y'all nose on that one, y'all are slipping. MFK Grand Soir, that's another one that is a fall time banger. That's, that's definitely only for, I'm with you, Omega, on that one. That's definitely for my, I reserve that one for special occasions. As you guys can see in my juice, I've only got, I've only used, as you guys can see, I've only used a little bit of this, but that shows you how much I really use it. I use this very sparingly. I definitely reserve this for occasions, but Grand Soir, MFK, I can't speak enough highly about that one. It's superb. All right, so Oud Vanilla by the Fireplace, um, all, the PD, all the PDMs, Evening Mystique of the Mortals, DHI. Okay, Stronger With You, Absolutely, in Leather. Uh, Spice and Wood, Tom Ford, Ombre Leather. Yeah, see, this. the crazy thing is, um, what you think your uh, Middle Eastern dupe is, Kaylin? And that's the crazy thing. Once you start, um, you know, thinking about this list, it's hard to really consolidate them because, you know, something's going to always fall off to six or seven or something that you forgot that you may want to switch out a number three for for number seven. It's just it gets stupid when you start making the list, but it really, really does exercise the brain a bit. And things may change, honestly, within, you know, like, say, if you think it's one way today, you might be thinking another way the next week. But yeah, I think we dropping some gems in this chat, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up if you guys are um actually getting inside the chat, or if you guys are doing the playback on this one. Make sure you guys are doing the um you know thumbs up so people can really um that it'll feed the algorithm overall. And make sure it feed the algorithm and other people are able to get these gems too. But yeah, that's crazy. You guys have got me thinking, man. Hmm. And another one that I feel like people slip on, especially for the fall, too. I don't know if you guys have smelled this one, but this Titiana Terenzi Spirito Fiorentino. This is another good banger for the fall. And I think, too, guys, this is like, and I, I think I mentioned this one before, but I think this is like Baccarat Rouge 540, but with gonads. And when I mean gonads, I mean balls. This is This is literally... This is the masculine version of Spice Bomb. If you think Spice, not Spice Bomb, excuse me, but um, Baccarat Rouge 540. If you think that the original uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 is a little bit too soft or it leans a little bit feminine, this is going to be the one. If you like that leathery touch, more spice involved, this is it. Oh, wow. That's a hell of a blind buy, Omega. 
Sheesh. Grand Soir for $200 for a 6.8. Whew. Good job, man. I think I have to go through them cousins. You know what? I said... <laughs> so I said that um, Grand Soir to me... Not exactly, but in the same... In the same family, like a distant cousin, to me that it smelled like this uh, Latafa, that it smelled like this one here. And when I say this, guys, this is more so like just saying that it's in the same family because you do get that cinnamon and you do get that vanilla. It really smells like not all the way close, but it is like it, it smells like it's a close relative. Yeah, eternal ooh. To me, that smells similar, guys. You, of course, nothing's gonna be like the exact when we're talking about dupes. And this is just one of those, man. This is something. If I'm not gonna rock Grand Soir, I know I could get closer, get the close DNA rocking with the eternal ooh. And you could really get this for about like 15, 15 to 20 bucks. Omega, what you thinking, man? Let me know if I'm tripping. Does this smell anything relative? Like, as far as, like, do you get similarities of Grand Soir with this Eternal Oud? Nice, 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 nice. Key said um, his cheapy for the fall, for the cool weather, excuse me, is Amroth Odyssey Black. Nice. Also, too, guys, another good cheapie is that uh, Al Haramain Detour Rouge. A lot of people sleep on this one. This is really good, too. Matter of fact, that's a good question. What is a good cheapie for you guys? I want to know everybody's cheapie for the fall season because it seems like that gets a lot of clicks, too, just as far as, like, what cheap fragrances are. So there's a lot of interest. But me personally, I like what I like. You know, I like more so the originals, but I don't have any problems, of course, rocking the cheapies either. Yeah, I feel that same way. Like it's a distant cousin, but you get in the same family. It's, it's not exact, to be honest. And we're talking about that Grand Soir, guys. Grand Soir and the Latafa Eternal Oud. I had put that on. Um, I had put it on a TikTok, man. A lot of people agreed. A lot of people said it was cap. It, it caused so much controversy. <laughs> but I'm like, when when you guys get dupes, you guys got to realize it's not going to be the exact same thing ever. Sorry if my video is going crazy, guys. Let me see if I can um, exit some of this stuff out. I have a lot of paperwork uploaded. Oh, Key, that's what you were talking about. Key was telling me about that too, man. Was that uh, Vintage Radio? Okay, so that's that Paragon dude that everybody's talking about right now. How close are we talking? Oh, I love that Dolce & Gabbana Poor Home Omega. That's a classic. If you guys are familiar with the Dolce & Gabbana uh, Poor Home, that's the old original one that's in the clear bottle. It has a blue top, and it has like this nice little velvet box. Old school stuff, but you could find it for about $35 now. To me, also, Bearberry Touch is another one that, it, that was one of the first ones I fell in love with. Bearberry Touch, I think, is still a nice fragrance to rock for the fall. Okay. I got you, Kaylin. Yeah, I mean, my thing is, I like having dupes just so I don't get my... um. I don't rock my most expensive stuff all the time. So I don't mind spending up to a certain amount on fragrances. I don't mind spending a certain amount, but I would rather have the original than the dupe, of course. But at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with a cheapie, so I don't go out of my good stuff. So, And most people won't even be able to tell that you probably have on a dupe anyway. I think that's personally for our noses. Yo, that Tommy girl is an old school. That's that's so old school. <laughs> uh. 
Man, so what everybody got going on for the weekend? Anybody got any plans? Omega, man, I'm sorry, your team. You had to play on Thursday, man. So football is over for you this weekend. I'm trying to dig in the crates and find out what else is something that is a stone cold gym for the fall that you guys can really, you know, gravitate to. Has anybody put their nose, by the way, on uh, Creed Carmina? I know it's a uh, feminine leaning fragrance, but I, I don't mind about none of that. I just want to find out what it's like. I need to, um, I don't want to drive all the way because our niche fragrance place here is um, all the way, like maybe 45, 50 minutes from where I live for me to get it in person. So. Yeah, Calvin, I do the same thing. I do the same thing. I will wear my I will wear my dupes like on an everyday basis. I wear them on an everyday basis. So if I'm like about to run an errand or if I'm going somewhere or if I just don't really feel like making a huge presence, you know, then I'll put my dupes on. But for like my original stuff, you know, occasions for sure. I rock them on occasion. That's why I always tell you guys, I don't need the full size unless if it's something like um, a Noxos 1861 or my uh, Carlisle, you know, some things just come in one size and one size only. Hey, Caitlin, I don't blame you. You see, I got this little small thing of Creed. My, shout out to my wife. She bought this one for me. That was my first ever um, first ever niche fragrance I got into was um, Creed. I still love this thing. Oh, man, now you talking about out of tax bracket. Omega talking about something that's really out of my tax bracket right now. That Clive Christian. <laughs> now that's out of my, oh, my goodness. That's definitely out of my tax bracket. Have you guys seen the prices on Clive Christian? And for those who don't know about Cloud Christian, it has like the crown at the top. It has like this slim uh, situation, bottle presentation. That's definitely out of my tax bracket. Good grief. We got to start getting uh, hooked up with some of these people with. Um, we got to start getting hooked up with some of these people at these um, retailers, man. So they can start sending some of this stuff in. Good grief. Man, I love Carlisle. I think somebody was telling me about how they were wearing Carlisle at work and it was choking everybody out. <laughs> but Carlisle is an awesome fragrance. Super awesome. Okay, Lynn, what's the price you've been seeing them at? Speaking of which, guys, I always tell you, Costco is another place you can really buy fragrances and, and be legit, you know, and find them at some really dis deep discounts. Oh, nice. Nice, Omega. Man, shout out to Fragrance Buy. Fragrance Buy is like one of my favorite places to go for um, discounts. They never fail, man. And that's also another one I really want to grab, too. Is that it? I think there was Unique Lux Unique. Let me stop saying E, but Unique Luxury. Let me start putting some of this stuff back. I'm like grabbing stuff back and forth. Also, guys, I've seen that. Um, have you guys smelled by number nine Sutton Place? Anybody familiar with that one? Oh man, that smells good. Yeah. Whew. I don't think. I haven't bought an expensive fragrance this year yet. Yeah, I haven't bought a niche. I haven't bought a quote unquote niche fragrance yet this year, which is crazy because nine months have passed by and I have not bought anything. I think the last one I kept it all the way funky with you guys. I have bought that. Um, at least I, at least I don't think the last one that I bought was that second soul. And I think I did a video on that one. That was the last niche fragrance that I bought. I was being super selective because that was taxing my money like crazy just buying these fragrances so samples have been what i've been doing and i've been creating a wish list for now i've been creating a wish list and i feel like if i feel the same way about the, by the end of the year 
then I must really like the fragrance. But I'm like, hey, you know, I'll put stuff on a wish list and see where we go from there. Let's see. Okay, so fragrance buy for like 240. Okay. Yeah, Fragrance Buy has a really, really nice reward system, guys. I don't know if you if you haven't shopped at FragranceBuy.ca, try them out. And their shipping is really, really nice. And their boxing is nice, too. I know it's crazy to say that about the box, but, yeah, the boxing is really nice. They put, like, the styrofoam. I wonder if I got a Fragrance Buy. I've got a box somewhere around here, but I've got to have one. It's somewhere. Oh, well, I'm not going to break my neck looking for it. But um, the boxes, they have like the styrofoam inside of them already. They really try to like make sure their boxes and stuff is like their product is like really, really enclosed nicely. I said, ooh, ooh attic level. <laughs> hey, you know what? It, it's just one of those things. Like, um, I think it's just you got to take your time with the discovery. You got to take your time with the discovery and keep it moving because you start buying everything at once. You'll be out of your pockets before you know it. Okay. Um, there's one, guys. Hold on two seconds for me, guys. Matter of fact, has anybody tried my mind games yet? I know we were talking about it, but has anybody tried it? I know it's newer, but has anybody tried the mind games? If so, what do you think? No, no, the mind games. So do you guys think I should go to, I know I did a poll, but do you guys think I should go to Argos next? Try out that house? And it's another one. I never um I'm late to the party, guys. So I'm always exploring. But somebody on Instagram, and I want to give him his credit, and it's just due. If Vaughn is still in here, he'll be able to tell exactly who I'm talking about. But he just unboxed a new Rosando Matu. I really, really got to get um acclimated to that house too. It's so many different houses that I gotta try, guys. It's crazy. I think it was like the 2010 that he had. Yeah, I hear good things about Rosanda Matu. Okay, what we what we thinking about mind games? And which and which bottles do you have? But yeah, guys, that Rosanda Matu, Rosendo Matu, excuse me. That's a new house, a house that I have not, you know, gotten into. So that's another one I do want to get into as well. I hear nothing but great things. I've been doing some research ever since I've seen that post. And they are a brand out in Barcelona. It's just so much stuff. Okay. So which one is your favorite out of the two? I know that's hard asking. But MG Blockade and Jadobi. Jadobi. I'm going to say Jadobi. Or Jadobi. But yeah, guys, also, too, if you ever want to send me samples in, I'm always open for that. I'm always open, guys, so I can do a review. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, man, thank you, guys, man. Y'all are really showing out with the likes today, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I always appreciate y'all. I always appreciate the family. Anybody who come chop it up with me, man. Anybody, I try to acknowledge everybody inside of the chat too, for sure, man. So I'm thankful that y'all even come here and sit down with me with my funky behind for about another hour, man. So thank you. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, that's it. That means that's a keeper, then, Key. If your wifey likes the grit, the grit Chanel, I mean, you got to keep that. Charnel, excuse me. Yeah, that means you got to keep that joint, man. Okay. Well, at least you got a discount on it. But yeah, I did notice some full size bottles was crazy. And I think I seen something where they have the eight mls now, like the uh, sample sizes, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, that straight version is just going to be a more smoothed out version of it, but... You know, that's the crazy thing. I feel like BDK has, like, um, BDK has been around for so long, and they've got so many different fragrances. But yeah, that Gris Chanel, I think, is the, um, is that the latest, the X-Straight? Ooh, let me know what that Velvet Tonka is like. And we talking about um I'll make sure I got the right one. Yeah, definitely let me know what that's like. Also, guys, am I tripping or is there another um is there another sale going on at Joma shop right now? Like I think right before I logged on live, I seen something about um Bowtie Fragrance guy was putting something up about another sale. So I don't know if it's the same sale that's still going on and they got something else going on. Either way, guys, check it out just to make sure. Joma Shop always got something going on. But I think it's the same one I was telling you guys about before. They just have a long standing sale right now. Why? I don't know, but I'm just looking through the site right now to see what I see too. Yeah, I think this is pretty much the same one that we were talking about. Nah, man, I feel like, okay, so I'll get a compliment. I'll get compliment more so from women. But for guys, it's like a really, really hard thing for me to get a compliment from guys. I don't know why. But for guys, it's just like they don't like complimenting you all the time. Like a lot. Because I don't know, as a fragrance connoisseur myself, I'm going to tell you like, hey, or a fragrance enthusiast myself, I'm going to say that's a really, really nice fragrance that you, that you have on. Women, you know, will say, hey, you know, have no problem telling you, but guys are just so hesitant to reserve. Can you believe that there's guys still out there that that don't like telling you um, what they what kind of fragrances that they have like in their collection? That's like crazy to me. Like if I ask, like, well, what's that fragrance that you have on? And be like, oh, it's a secret. It's a secret. I can't tell you. Like, come on, man. And you know those type of people. You guys know those type of people that like to keep their stash as a secret. I don't understand it, but because they quote unquote don't want anyone to smell like them. I don't get it. <laughs> Kaylin said, Oh, I know why. <laughs> None of that kind of smoke. I got a, I got a crazy wife, yo. Yeah, I, I can't stand the gatekeepers. I can't stand them because I, I will tell you in a heartbeat. I'll tell you what I have one. I'll tell you where to get it. I'll tell you even low key how to find it cheaper. Yeah, I'm telling you, Omega. I gotta give Omega a shout out whenever this um. Whenever I get my nose on um, Argos, he has been like the uh, he he's been definitely vouching for Argos since I feel like day one, since we've been talking about it. Yeah, I understand that. That's different when you layer in, but I feel like some people be having some of the most basic designer fragrances that don't even want to tell you what they have on. 
which is beyond me. That's crazy. What is the most compliments you guys got in a day? I want to say I got about four or five in one day. I've never gotten 12, but then again, I'm never out, out like that. Like I go places, but I try not to be in huge crowds like that. So I guess it all depends. Will you guys ever meet me? Like if there's ever anything like um, a fragrance thing or anything, I'm super personable, guys, but I really don't try to be the person that's in the middle of anything. So yeah, everybody's going to be rocking it anyway. So you can't sit up here and tell me that. Like, first and foremost, you're not going to tell me like you're not going to sit up here and keep YSL the secret. You're not going to keep your YSL uh, fragrance a secret. Like, I might not catch exactly what it is, but you're not going to sit up here and tell me that a YSL is just like, oh, I don't want to tell you. That's just wrong, man. <laughs> or a Dior Sauvage to tell me it's a secret. We're not doing that. Of course, you'll be able to tell a Dior Sauvage in a heartbeat, but... Nice. Okay, so the Ventus, does it have any kind of pineapple to it? You know, of course, anytime somebody says a Ventus, we think pineapple, but does it have like a pineapple type of vibe, like the bergamot feel, or what are we talking? All right, guys, so I'm going to be on for that about the next. I try to keep this like shortened down to an hour, so we'll be on live for another, um, I want to say about eight minutes, but if you guys are in here, you guys just join say what's up man i would definitely love to say what's up to everybody that's this is what we do we do vibe checks we do we shoot the breeze and we just talk man we just show love to each other and it's just a way for you know me to um talk to the community and the community talk right back to me it's all love and also guys if you do hit this playback once again make sure you guys hit that like button because it does help for this to reach the algorithm for any other kind of fragrance enthusiasts like us. So <laughs> say my molecule one. Uh you know what? Let's see. How do I want to smell? I want to smell like money today. So, how I typically do mines is I'll pull my locks. <laughs> how I do mines, I guess everybody is different, but also I'll go in the back and then I might hit a layer on the shoulders and call it a day. Pharrell, what's up, family? How you doing, man? Thank you for coming to the chat. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. That's all That's all in there. That's all in there right now. That smells great. I got like three different scents on right now, but it's all good. Got good feedback on I'm Jaw Purity Orient Line. All our great success. Yeah, to me, it's, it's it gives enough. And the only thing I may do is I may spray it on my uh, pants, you know, which is ironic, but I might spray it on my pants, uh, on my arms. And that's it. That's all I really need to go. You know, I don't spray. I don't spray super deep. But I want to be discovered, though. I don't all the time like to make that announcement when I'm walking in. So if you come up close to me, that's good. Cool. You like, like to spray. Oh, what's wrong with my video? Sorry, guys, if it keeps connecting and disconnecting. I don't know what the heck is wrong with my stuff today. But yeah, this right now, and I guess it all depends on the fragrance, too. If it's a lighter fragrance, I may have to do more. But, you know, something like that, smoky like that, better get the job done. Or if I'm wearing a suit, what I'll do is I'll spray on the insides, too. Uh, exotic leather 
from Dolce. No, I have not. I haven't um put my nose on that one. Nope. <laughs> if I could get away with it, there is no way that that's gonna freaking work. I told you, man. Between between Kaylin Omega, you be having y'all be dropping key. Y'all be dropping some uh stuff in here. I'll be hearing about Nishin AF, so I haven't put my nose on that one yet, but I hear it's a really, really good one. Matter of fact, it might be on sale right now, too. Oh, my love. $560, uh, $595. Of course, it's Bloomingdale's and Neiman Marcus, but good. Okay, so Joe Michelle, two seventy nine. dollars Okay, that's better. But geez, this originally was six hundred and fifty dollars. Wow, that is beyond me. <laughs> now that's over my tight. That's over my tax bracket. <laughs> that's completely over my tax bracket, guys. Oh my gosh! So right now, guys, <laughs> who? You almost had me fall out this chair, Key. Talk about five hundred dollars, man. Six hundred and fifty dollars, excuse me. So for the one point seven ounce right now, guys, it's on Joma Shop for two seventy nine ninety nine, which is still crazy, man. I don't think I went up that price range. I, I think I stopped right at the two twenty, and that's about it. Let me see. Insert that uh Dave Chappelle meme. If you're listening, help. Yeah, this is this looks crazy. Um, you know me, guys. I'll I'll get the sample and find out at least what it smells like. So. Yeah, that's what end up happening. You run out of space quick when you start buying these fragrances. This is, is an insane. It's an insane addiction, but it's a lovely smelling one. Key, how much did you find yours for, man? All right, guys, so I'm about to go ahead and get out of here for today. We're about to hit the uh, hour mark, and I don't want to go ahead and make sure. I want to make sure that I don't waste too much of you guys' time because you are kicking it with my funky behind for an hour on a Friday. We could be doing anything else in the world, so I appreciate you guys, and I love you guys for that, man, sincerely. Um, you know, we'll be coming up with more content. That Lalabo comes out. It comes in today, the sample sizes. The Lalabo Lavender. I think it's Lavender, Lavender, Lavender 31. It is not out yet. It comes out uh, October 1st. So you guys should be seeing my first impressions on that soon. And yeah, guys, I got more paperwork to rock out. So, man, make sure you guys have a good weekend. Be safe. Make sure you guys also tell a friend about the channel. We are only about 48 away from the big 3K. So, man, I thank you guys. And if you are watching this playback and you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys go ahead and do that. I'll catch you guys next time. And like I said, much love, guys.